Hey guys, Jeremy here with a little bit of a different video talking to you guys about a, a subject that my patron supporters actually wanted me to talk about. I had a poll and I asked, hey, would you guys want to know this thing or would you like me to talk about uh, working in film? And so they obviously went with that one. And this is going to be actually two videos. The first one is my first ever film experience and the second one would be like what it's like to actually be a day on set. And that's going to be a much longer video. But anyways, this one is talking about my first ever film experience in this movie. Rewind yourselves back to the late 2000s when Transformers was the big hoo-ha even if the second movie was doo-doo and Megan Fox was being lauded over by bros and yo and whatever. Whoa man she's too hot. This was an interesting experience because of one the subject matter of the movie our first experience with uh, Megan Fox in the film and just film in general. I got pulled in because one of my uh, co-students in my acting 12 course said, hey, do you guys want to be some background for a movie that's being shot at Langley Secondary School this weekend? I was like, oh, sure, okay. So we came there, we walked into the school, uh, Langley Secondary School, and I've kind of been in the school. It wasn't my high school, but it was one that I had been to because of sports and whatnot. But I recognized what it looked like normally, and walking in, it was kind of cool, because as you're walking through, you're seeing all of the set dressing that they've done to the hallways, you know, all the banner changes, all the stuff on the lockers. This was also being shot during spring, spring break. I should mention that as well. That's why we were able to get to the high school and shoot for as long as we were there. There's also, uh, a memoriam in the glass case and at first we're like is that real but then we see that he's wearing the same banners as the high school stuff so we're like oh so this guy's dead in the story so we get pulled into the, uh, the the auditorium kind of like the the gym I guess you would say and we all sit down at tables and we're waiting and just sitting there and kind of figuring out what to do uh, we get asked to come out to do this scene in the hallway it, it's kind of interesting learning about this never done any of this before I think maybe some people knew what did they do but a lot of us were from just different high schools and we had no idea what we were doing this background coordinator is placing us in different places along this hallway because the scene is Megan Fox's character is going to be walking down the hallway. Uh, he puts me at a, a locker with this other girl and there's a little bit of a funny ditty here. He says, now I want you guys to have a conversation with each other but you can't talk so you have to be like and I want you to be trying to ask this girl to come to the dance with you and I want you to turn him down. Ah, cool. Right for the gut. Right off the bat. Alright, this will be fun. And it was. It was actually kind of funny just doing this different pantomime of the same conversation over and over and over again because the shot would be about a minute or two long. We do it over and over and over. And I was so far from the camera. I have actually tried to see myself for that particular walk and I can't see me. So that was the opening bit. And as I mentioned before, this was just after Transformers 2. Everyone knew what Megan Fox looked like from that movie. So to see her coming down the hallway looking pale and anemic. We were kind of obviously a little bit thrown off. The background coordinator didn't exactly do anything at all to explain what was going on. Now obviously you have to try and keep your story hidden. You have to try and keep some kind of of mystery about it. You can't just reveal it to everyone, but we didn't get a call sheet. We didn't get anything. We didn't get any kind of information about what the film was about, what the story was about, what was happening in this particular scene. We were all just completely a gap that Megan Fox looked like this to the point where we were all kind of gawking at her when we should have been doing what we were doing and we actually got called out on it even though they said oh one of the actors but we knew exactly who was uh, asking about it one of the actors is requesting that you guys do not look at them during the scene as it is distracting admittedly yes it is distracting when you are trying to do your work and you've got a shit ton of people in your eye line kind of doing yeah, you're going to be a little distracted. So as we're waiting in the auditorium or sort of the gym, I keep saying that, they start to bring in food, snacks for us. And it's a different assortment of food, snacks, meats, cheeses, all this kind of stuff. Kind of just appetizers, really. And then they bring in a wheelbarrow on wheels. And inside this wheelbarrow is up to, I, I don't know, I reached all the way down at one point, later on in the day, I'll explain that, full of sesame seed crackers. Now, if you guys have ever had these, um, they're like crack to me. Anytime you give me them, I will eat them because I love these things. So we get called back out again. Now, this is the scene that in particular that I can see myself clear as day, my two and a half seconds of fame, I call it. In the scene here, Megan Fox and Amanda Seyfried, who at the time, Amanda Seyfried was not that big. She was known as the dumb boob weather girl from Mean Girls. Obviously she went on to be 
a very credible actress. She and Megan are walking down the hallway, and then there's this goth character who is talking to Megan, Jennifer. He's walking backwards up this hallway, a long goddamn hallway, mind you. I've, like, If you think it's easy to walk back up a hallway backwards and not bump into anything or a wall or just keep straight, it can be difficult. Uh, he's as asking her out to see the Rocky Horror Picture Show. There's some jokes and whatnot in here. Now, when they placed me, they placed me right at the end of the hallway before they make a turn. And this is me right here. This is my 17 year old thinking I'm cool as shit denim tuxedo wearing motherfucker. This was my shtick for a while. I have not worn this denim jacket actually in quite some time, but I still have it. It's actually one of my favorite jackets. I just was checking the shit out of my pockets and this locker and that's it. That is my claim to fame. I always just watch it up until this point and then I just take the DVD out and then I just like, yep, that's it. But now with Netflix, I can skip right to that part and then just like, ah, here I am. And that was my scene. I think they did this scene for about like two hours and that was the first thing. If you guys ever wondered what it's like to be in film, imagine one scene, one take, like one cut, and imagine every time that cut t changes to something else, imagine near on a half hour to an hour passing in between. And then imagine that same cut, that same take happening over and over and over and over again. Not a lot is filmed and captured in one day. It takes a lot of days to put together a movie. Depending on what the project is, for say like for some big budget movie, sometimes a page of script can be done in one day. Whereas some like Hallmark's, Hallmark can do 12 pages in a single day, sometimes even more, but that's because they're usually like cheap dialogue movies. This one, I, I can't exactly say. This conversation was the longest bit. So I would say maybe three pages was done in this scene here. Maybe, that might be a stretch. It took a while and that was probably the the most damning thing about it. My attention span, my ADHD still is always ever present. I found out the meaning of patience. Full tilt working in film. To see this scene take as long as it did to get done was amazingly like, wow, holy shit, this takes a long time to put a movie together. But there was a few other scenes that we did afterwards, but they were similar to the first story I told you uh, in terms of just being kind of off to the side, not really being able to see myself, just adding extra atmosphere to the, um, to what was going on. And then at one point we actually got lined up because they were going to shoot a classroom scene the next day and they wanted to choose who were the best uh, candidates for it. I don't know exactly what happened, but I think it's really weird to say, but I swear I have this really strange relationship with apples. One in every 15 apples will give me an allergic reaction. I don't understand why, I don't get it, but my throat will dry up and my eyes will start to water. I will literally eat the same kind of apple and it will happen. It just does. Anyways, I had just done that. All of a sudden, my eyes started to water, my nose was starting to run, I looked like garbage. I'm like, wow, this could not happen at a worse time. Obviously, I was not chosen, but it was kind of funny just me going, Egh! like <laughs> when they were doing this lineup. And then to close out the day, to close out the last thing I did, uh, and this also actually is one of the reasons why I loved having this denim jacket, especially back in the time when I used to sn sneak snacks into the movie theaters. When I knew that we were gonna be leaving soon, I walked up to that barrel. I took massive handfuls of the sesame seed crackers and I picked them up and I kept putting them into all of my pockets all of them. I had enough of these goddamn things to last me, I, I think, three weeks. As we were leaving the school, I could just hear myself going, ksh, 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 ksh. but they're like, what are they going to do, right? Yeah, that was my experience working on Jennifer's body. I hope you guys found this funny uh, video. There is another story, actually, I have on here about me working as a background extra in a East Indian movie that got filmed out here. Uh, I went from being a background extra to a full on character and there is a dubbed version of me somewhere out there in the uh, Indian film universe that I wish I could find for you. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this little story. Have you guys ever been a background extra in a film? And did you do it when you were younger and you kind of had no idea what you were doing? And are you still doing it now? What's your favorite story? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like this video, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. And if you guys would like to have more of a say with what I do with this channel, maybe consider joining my Patreon page. Uh, the link for that is in the description below. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.